Hello possums! I've been to Douglas and they made uh, one of the Dior girls make me at makeup. So this is what a little bit of silver and purple and a little bit green underneath the eyes and uh, I think quite bright blush and uh, some contour and um, so what do you reckon? She did it totally different than I did because she made a very sort of strong edge here in the crease and I said, do you not, are you not going to blend it? And she said, no, it's blended. Hmm, different, totally different than I do it. And um, I think she's done a good job, but what I don't like is that everywhere she used the banana powder from, from NYX, from the contour palette. And this is all, and I sweated, you know, a little bit, but it's, uh, it's all very cakey, very cakey, very strong. So I'm not quite sure, well, that's the way it is but something different so but I don't want to uh, today's uh, video is about my March favorites it's already very late in April so I'm very sorry about this but I don't have a routine yet so I'm still working on all the organizing and you know doing the movies and all this sort of thing so apologize for this and um, I want to tell you what you know in, in February and March what I like very much and I want to share this with you. So if you're interested in this then keep on watching. Um, first of all I have two foundations. I have the Lancome Tanned Miracle. Uh, this is with the F SPF 15 and uh, I love this foundation. It's really really good. I've got the color, oh, I can't read this, wait a second. I've got the color O2. 40L and 01 and um, it's a bare skin foundation they say and you have to shake it well it's quite it's quite liquid and uh, but uh, I love this foundation it's a very nice color match for my skin and um, it gives you a really nice you know second skin it doesn't look like you have a heavy foundation on it and it's a, it's a light to medium coverage you can build it up a little bit and um, it's got a it's got not a shine or, a, or a sh but it's very it's not matte it's more a little bit of glow and it's it's just very 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 nice so this is my foundation um, when I need the feeling of something you know feeling good so and for every day what I like as well as much as the L'Oreal uh, Perfection so this is my everyday um, as well. So when, when, you know, for example, when I go to sports and uh, I don't want to use this because I think it's a little bit of a pity, but um, I would like, I, I'm going to wear this one and this is in the color vanilla. And uh, you see the similar color match and uh, these is second skin as well. So it's very easy to blend, very nice to build up, um, doesn't look cakey. Um, you feel comfortable you don't have the feeling that you wear some heavy stuff on your face so really 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 nice so these two i can highly recommend then i have um, for contouring actually i have here the elf contour palette and this is a little treasure it is really little treasure you have a big mirror here and um, put it this way here and you've got a, a highlight, you've got a sort of yellow banana powder like, you've got a very, very, very nice cool tone brown and uh, a warm bronzer. And uh, they have a very nice cream feeling. And this is a perfect palette. You even, you can take these little things out and you can use it, um, you can, can, you know, swap it and put something else inside. So you can see here on, on the back side. For example, you can take one out, like for example, the highlight, and you put a plush inside. And then you have a perfect palette to go um, when you go on holidays or when you go on a business trip. Because these colors are exact the colors as the contour palette from Smashbox. And this is just gorgeous. It's just like, you know, the three colors, what you really, really need. So it's really easy to blend. You have a perfect brown, a cool brown for for here for contouring a perfect brown for for bronzing and for highlighting as well so this is just a couple of dollars and it's really really easy to blend perfect colors 
and I love it. I really, really do highly recommend this. Um, I have some more for the face today and I have four blushes. So these four blushes. So the first one is an elf one as well. It's a really beautiful, beautiful color. So um, actually I have to read which color it is. It is um, Jet Setter, called Jet Setter. The color is fantastic. It's creamy and it's, um, i show you later in a swatch. Um, it's, it's a beautiful color and I just love it. And a similar color is from Alverde. This is, you know, sort of nature cosmetic. It's similar color and this is in the color uh, Pretty Terra. So nice earth. It's Latin. So you see, I've got a fable for this sort of color, especially, you know, during winter time, I would like to have some, some, some earthy, some terracotta sort of like colors. I really love it. As well, one of my, um, one of my favorite blushes is uh, from Milani. This is the Rose Doro. It's um, a very nice warm um, color with a little bit of gold reflex and it's got a beautiful shimmer, easy to blend, excellent for wearing, beautiful. And the last one, which I like very much, this is from Makeup Revolution. And there's a bit more, a stronger color. And this is the color Fusion. So they're a little bit powdery, they're creamy, but a little bit powdery and um, but beautiful color as well. And this is more like a stronger color when you need more, you know, um, when you have want to, to have a stronger blush on this. But, you know, these were the ones I, I, I wore the last two months mostly. Then I have something for the lips. Actually, I think it's very strange because I'm a big, big fan of these um, uh, Clinique lipsticks. So the older versions look like this, a bit horrible because very scruffy. You see that the silver is all sort of oxidized and it doesn't look very nice anymore. These are the, the newer packaging, which is much more stable and they don't, you know, it's not so scruffy, it doesn't look like this. But these long lasting lipsticks are just beautiful and they, so creamy and and good wearing and they have very very nice colors and i don't know why nobody raves about them i i cannot understand it to be honest this is my favorite color of all time um this is um what is the color ah uh, i cannot see this this is berry kiss and uh i know it's pink chocolate pink chocolate so this is um, a beautiful color and um, I think I, 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 this is the fifth lipstick I have because I love this color so much. Pink chocolate, beautiful color because it's perfect for my lips and uh, you see how much I love these guys, it's really empty. So I really, I used it to death. And this is a nude splotch, a new color, a beautiful, beautiful brown with a little bit of pink. And they're just, I don't know why nobody raves about these lipsticks. As well, I have another one, which I really do love, which has got a similar color. This is um, Rose, 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 whatever. So this is more like a pinkish color. And this is from Wet n Wild. These ones, you know, this is they have a matte matte color. They're just beautiful. They wear excellent. The last, they're creamy. They don't try out. They're perfect to wear. They have a very very opaque color. I love them to death. Um, a little bit like these are the new ones from from the DM market. They're from Trend It Up, the new line. And uh, you see, I've got, I'm always into these colors. It's always the same. And this is sort of like my, my favorite pink chocolate as well. And it's a beautiful color, very nice to wear. 
and this is the color they don't have they only have numbers this is the number um 90 matte they have matte ones and they have shiny ones and now they're all beautiful i love them they're very inexpensive they wear beautiful um they're excellent on the lips i, I love them i really really um cannot um i rec highly recommend these so these you know this one from clinic this is about like 23 years so it's quite expensive um this from wet and wild in germany you find them like in some some Edeka markets, supermarkets, very seldomly you really have to look where they are and they don't have the full line so it's really hard to get all that stuff and it's not like in the States where you go there and they've got a big display and you can choose from all these things so I'm a bit jealous about this. Um, so the Wet n Wild in Germany they're quite expensive like in America I heard that they bought like one or two dollars for one lipstick in Germany you pay about five euros so it's much more expensive. So this is about 23, this is about like 5, um, and this one from Trended Up, it's like 220. So you have for the different price ranges, you have um, beautiful, beautiful lipsticks and, uh, and to wear. And, um, and, you know, this is why, because I wore this, you know, this color, so I love them, the color so much. This is a beautiful um, lip liner as well, and this is from... Rival de Loop, so it's very inexpensive. I think this is just like one one euro, so very cheap. Um, and this is uh, the color, the color, the color is plum seven plum, very nice. So these were um, things for the lips, and then have some items for the eyes, and then I'm, then we finished. So this is um, from Maybelline, a very nice. Um, um, eyeliner and it's really really dark black and it's fantastic it's very soft easy to it doesn't you know you have a black line on on the eyelid and um, when you wear this but it really stays there where, where you put it on um, beautiful and very matte black but very very rich and these are at the moment my three um, my three mascaras to go for the lower line, I always wear um, a waterproof mascara, and this is from um, Catrice, and this is a waterproof, so the Clamadol mascara, and it's got a very tiny little wand. It's beautiful for the lower lash line, and this is just my perfect mascara to, for, for this one. This is a Clamadol waterproof, the blue one. Um, so for the upper lash lines, I at the moment use this one. This is the Push Up Drama from Maybelline and I thought I want to give it a try whether it's really something special. So I, I love the wand because I'm very into these um, um, plastic wands and uh, so this one has got very you know wide spikes so when you go and start from the button of the lashes and you wiggle it through it very easily covers the entire lash to give it a sort of a swing um, upwards. So but um, for defining the lashes and that it doesn't, you know, they have clumps somewhere. I use this um, Absolute Lashes, you know, from W7. This is the dupe for the um, Benefit um, uh, mascara. And it's got exactly the same wand. And this wand is beautiful, I love it. And, uh, and this, I use this first and I use this second. And then I've got beautiful lashes to go. And this is my, my dream triple trio for my lashes at the moment. So, at the end, I finally want to give you a very inexpensive tip for a very nice perfume. This is from um, Magic Oris and this is from um, Anna Bondi. This is actually from Aldi, Aldi supermarket. Aldi is a very famous sort of supermarket where you find um, globally, and uh, but they have different names in different countries. So in Germany, it's called Aldi and this is from Aldi Nord. And I'm, I'm very, very, very sad because we cannot buy it at Aldi South. And this one, oh, I love this smell. I love this smell. It's so beautiful and uh, I can, oh, I use it every day and uh, it's really hard. I have to find an Aldi North, you know, we have to travel a couple of kilometers to go there. And I bought this last year um, when we went on holidays to the, to the Northern Sea and um, they're so inexpensive, they cost about like 450 and 
I mean, they're not, they don't last very long, but when you get used to a very expensive perfume as well, then after a while you get used to it and then um, it's hard, really hard to smell as well. So this is why I want to change my perfume um, on a daily basis. I love perfumes and I change it like to my mood, what I'm wearing, whether I have a, like an official business sort of thing, then I wear something more masculine. I never have something, you know, where I feel more like a woman or like a girly. So I wear some sort of pink um, Versace perfume. I think the color is is um, it's got a lot of you know of the of the experience in you know, how you how you experience your your scent as well. So this one is really beautiful, um, fresh fragrance we can use like you know on a daily basis. So I highly recommend this. They have different sort of senses. So just go and check it out and uh, um, whether you like it or not, just like a tip. So thank you very much for watching. If you liked it, I'm happy when you subscribe. So to see that you don't miss any new um, videos and uh, I wish you a nice day. Mwah! Thank you. Bye bye.